Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Freshly Scrubbed. Let's take a look at what's new this month on Dissolve.com. Alright everyone, back by popular demand, I'm excited to have Nikki Stevens again in this episode. Popular demand. Popular demand. <laughs> Even if it was just me that really, really wanted you back. So, uh, the other exciting thing is that while recording this episode, today is actually the first day where our new website is launched and we have a brand new main page and look and feel and I think it looks awesome. And we have photos now. Now let's go see some footage. So the first contributor we want to share with you is Aaron and they are an exclusive contributor to Dissolve and recently this new batch was processed by our liftoff program. Really excited to share these with you. These are awesome. Now one of the guys slow motion sliding down the rocks. That looks fun. Having this footage, I assume this isn't an easy place to get to to film and in these canyons and stuff. First of all, finding the people to go and do that. Yeah, let's just find 10 people who want to jump off a canyon or plank on a canyon. <laughs> what <laughs> is happening? <gasps> okay. Find someone to do that for you. No, just buy that clip. So we've seen some great stuff from GoodSport before and we know that we can count on this contributor to provide some high quality uh, sports related footage. And what's great is that every batch of theirs is unique to a certain sport or shoot. So you can really find a lot from the same activity or sport. Yeah, I thought what was cool about this one was it's the same girl in the same clothing doing the same activity, but all in all different situations, you know, the close up, a long distance shot, all kinds of things. So you could really put together a story. I always tend when I'm looking for clips to put together to try and find two or three clips of the same model doing the same thing, but you know, from a different angle, a different perspective. So I thought that it was really nice to find something like this. The other thing I really like about this um, batch is it's quite nicely color corrected. Um, and I think it would really suit really just any kind of story. Let's talk about long journeys. Their latest batch is really nice. The quality is very impressive for yeah, underwater footage. It's not, you can tell it's not GoPro. It's like, holy crap, that's a lot of fish. Okay, who is this? Kyle Couture. What I liked about this was there's lots of anonymous people. You can see this guy, but you never see his face. It's always kind of the back of him. It's never a full shot of his face, which is always something I look for because you could, that person can be anyone. It's really awesome stuff you're able to, you know, use as that kind of filler footage. Very cool. And you know what else I like? I like um, the type of shots where they're really, really far away shots and the person is almost like minuscule. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the filmmakers who are by themselves tend to set the camera on a tripod and then go that far and walk in front of it. Um, I've actually been meaning to try that with myself one day, but um, it just makes for a really cool film-like quality uh, piece of footage. Most people think of establishing shots as shots that have to be of buildings or cityscapes, things like that. But when you establish a shot with a person in it, you also give a sense of scale of the environment that they're in or also the feeling of being alone uh, really comes out by showing how tiny they are in this big, vast environment that are, you know, they're by themselves. I never even thought about that, but absolutely. So this is... Globescope. Globescope. So what I noticed, this batch is all footage of the Great Ocean Road in Australia. It's a, one of the like, the 10 road trips I'll do before I die. Thought it was some cool footage of, so again, for people like, we're on the other side of the world from here, so this is amazing to us. <laughs> I would still love to go to Australia and shoot this myself. But since I probably don't have the budget for that, it'd be great to just have the access to this footage. And they also seem to have visited the spot in many different times during the day and uh, got different looks to that spot, which I think is good. Some people need, you know, a specific time of day for their shots. You know, maybe they're telling a story and this is approaching nighttime and this is the shot that they need. Or maybe they need a sunset, you know, to start talking about, to signify beginning of the day or something like that. So as a contributor, I think it's good to find a spot that is a popular spot and shoot it at all different times of the day. Remember, Nikki, how last episode we showed some military footage from a collection that was purely editorial only? Mm -hmm. um, here's a, the newest batch 
by contributor KLSS and has a lot of co commercially cleared um, military footage. And I mean, the way they got around that is, of course, not many faces are being shown, um, but you know, somebody who needs them in a commercial project, I think is going to find these very useful. Definitely, especially, you know, I can imagine military footage being a hot commodity with the election going on in the States, lots of election campaign videos. And that's also something we talk about to contributors when they go out and shoot situations where they feel like, oh, you know, I'm going to be able to get a lot of commercially viable content um, for Dissolve. We say, you know, just try it anyways, because there's a lot of ways that you can do uh, footage in a non-commercial situation, but they end up being commercially viable. So Absolutely. this is a good example of that. We actually have a blog post on that um, about how to shoot in situations like this where there's a large crowd and how it can still be commercially usable just based on your shooting technique. Ooh. I've seen a lot of time lapses, but I don't believe I've seen this monument before. Yeah, it's somewhere in Malaysia. That's stunning. And the way that they've got the horizon line reflected and the clouds reflected, kind of a cool technique. This contributor actually has quite a few pretty cool time lapses. I always sort of appreciate the time lapse because I do not have the patience to sit there and do that for an entire day. So it's always nice when it's done for you. Hey Nikki, how about we make a movie? I say we shoot uh, outside your house and then we pretend this asteroid hits your house. Why would you want an asteroid to hit my house, George? So you can move in with me. So we can shoot freshly scrubbed videos together forever and ever. Okay. If you need a, uh, all you need is to add a little bit of flames to this and you have got and a asked. disaster on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bay, watch out. Hey Nikki, do you know who has still a very special place in my heart? Other than me? Of course. Paulina Rebtseva. Do you remember Paulina? She was actually the first ever liftoff contributor we ever had. You know, I've actually met with her. I went to uh, California and I met her in person. And she literally just works with just a camera, runs around. She just loves the art of shooting and she just shoots life and captures it. And um, I really like the way this was one of the clips that stood out to me because, you know, you could shoot a map straight on, a person writing on it, whatever. But the quality that this has with the sort of in and out of focus and you know, like drawing on the map with the key. It's just so realistic because of the way she shoots, the nature of how she shoots. Just go out and shoot life. I know we've done a spotlight on her and people can go and read that, but you know, for the longest time, she used a lens that was her grandfather's and no it's way. an old Helios lens. And it was just, it all even had a broken aperture for the longest time, which really I think helped create some of the look that she is now known for. But we also know our customers really love uh, the style of work that Polina does. Uh, so, I'd like to know the story behind why he shaved his face like that. I was told that I have to try this look. What do you think? I think you could pull it off. Okay, next episode Your hair of Freshly is Scrubbed. probably that long on top. You just need to <laughs> not flick it. Next episode of Freshly Scrubbed, just you wave. Nikki, I'm so excited about this new contributor and collection. This is Summit Films. Um, the quality this collection has already is just astounding. And look at all the models that are commercially cleared. They're so varied and you can capture this, the essence of these nationalities. Um, in, in stock, usually these, uh, these videos are usually not commercial. Like it's totally not staged. These are real people. This is their home. You know, this is their clothing. And that kind of stuff usually isn't commercially cleared. What struck me about these uh, shots of this artist were that his studio was in a white room. I love you know, that, yeah. Usually in stock, oh look, it's an artist in their perfectly white room. I'm sorry, I've never been an artist that <laughs> works in a perfectly white studio. It's usually covered in paint and- Cans everywhere. Yeah, and... cans everywhere, canvases here, paintbrushes. This is real, he's a real dude, that's his studio. That's all the time we have today, Nikki, but it was a pleasure having you join me again. And I think we don't even have to mention that anymore because you'll be in every episode, yes? I think I might have to be. I like coming down and visiting you in your studio. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for this episode. And remember, next time you're on Dissolve.com looking for clips for your next video project, we're here to help. So send us your free research requests at research at Thanks so much and have a great day.